Hi everyone, my name's Mr. GG, and we can be continuing with Tigger at the Force. Now, where we last left off, Izuku won the Sports Festival, and well, oh, he has won the Sports Festival, and you could tell something's wrong with Ida. Now, Izuku goes up to Ida and asks what's wrong. Since Ida don't like Izuku in this, Ida just tells Izuku to fuck off. I know, not Ida, like, at all, but it's Ida in this one. As Izuku can tell, something's wrong. So, Izuku basically reads his mind. Now I'm pulling this out of my ass. Why? Because I can. And I'm just going to put it down to one for all. Yep, I'm doing that. Don't fucking at me. Anyway. Izuku reads his mind and all he's able to see is Rage and hatred, which messes Azuku up a bit, because his dark side's actually feeding off that. And that's not good. Also, my phone's not charging. Why isn't it fucking charging? Oh, God, that's annoying. Anyway. So that happens, Izuku is basically, well, getting things, looking through his internships. Now, he can tell he's going to Hosu, because he gets a vision of, well, his stupidity. And I could put something here, but I won't because I want to save it for later. It's also another quote. If you like Star Wars, you're gonna know this quote. Actually, there's gonna be two quotes in this. So, yeah. Um, anyway, back to the story. Mei and Izu basically take a hero company that's in Hosu. Also, who got the most? It was Izuku. Then Mei, then uh, but, uh, Who was third last time? Anyway... Izuku is basically... Getting things, re getting things ready. And... Well... Yeah. Izuku talks to Todoroki about this. And Todoroki is going to be the one backing up Izuku. Now, Gran Torino didn't send Izuku a note because he could tell Izuku has got pretty good control of full cowling already. Now. As that happens. It's time for, well, you know what, but not yet. Now, Izuku and Mei arrive at their respected place, and, well, they get greeted, and they can see a lot of this tech. A lot of it 
new age a lot of it they some of the uh, people there don't understand and I would say some of the stuff they have is old republic stuff so that teams are supposed to re-engineer it and find a way to turn it on as Azuka just goes up to it and presses a few buttons and it turns on now everyone there is really surprised and a lot of the people who are working there are saying hold on so you just turned it on it's that simple as Azuka says yes you do have it plugged in and it's not that difficult to well grab the concept of yet again I know it'll take more so it's probably harder for you guys to understand so yeah as I'm gonna say there is a cocky person you know that one cocky engineer saying I bet you it was just some lucky shot some luck as Suzuki goes up to another piece of old tech and turns that on and she says not dumb luck I know this tech better than anyone as they ask how he says if I told you you wouldn't believe me and that's the truth as everyone is astound basically astounded by what Izuku can do they also want to know about the sabers he's built as he says oh I can explain that but you're gonna to have to have an open mind so yeah uh, time for the stain attack Izuku's been working on Well, helping May work on his, uh, some of her tech, as now she has, I think I have a picture of it, if I don't, I'm going to be real fucking annoyed, no, but she's got a product saber, I think it was called, of something like that, anyway, so he's got a type of blade that can counter lightsabers. That's it. And it's not a lightsaber. So I'm probably going to get copyrighted for that. Anyway. As time goes on. Izuku. Is. Out during a mission with. A pro hero from the agency. Because it's not just engineers, it also has people who do um, Oh, what is it? Uh, hero work Yeah, as Izuku and May are out doing hero The said hero, this is when the gnome is attacked and chaos ensues As Izuku lets the heroes know what their weak spots are And this is when he gets a disturbance in the force. Now I'm using that again. <laughs> Fucking at me. I can have a lot of Star Wars quotes in this if I wanted. But I don't see the fucking point. And I might get copyrighted. So yeah. Couldn't tell I was smoking that entire time. Anyway. Um yeah. Izuku gets disturbance as he runs towards where Ida should be in his vision, as well as letting Todoroki and Maine. Izuku ends up teleporting on top of a rooftop as Ida's about to get stabbed. Izuku yells no. Uh, says, well, basically yells stop as blo as he's blocking it with the with his uh, force as. Stain looks up and sees a boy with two lightsabers. Ah, fuck. 
sabers on different colors. As Stang says, ah, oh, so you're another fake hero. As he says, I'm just a kid. I'm training. And I can't really have you kill my friend there. Or classmate, I guess. They're not really friends. As Stain says, so if you're not friends, why'd you come and save them? As as he says, isn't that what a hero is supposed to do? Save people. As Stain says, hmm, quite true. You might be a true hero. As Stain gives Izuku the rundown of his, uh, well, reason, his dark side comes and says, hmm, he does have a good point, but as his light side comes and says, he's going about it to the wrong way. He should be at peace and do it as a hero, not a, I guess what you call a vigilante. As Izuku says, you know, this is the first time you guys have ever agreed on something. As Stain says, alright, I'm going to make my way up to you. As Izuku says, don't be stupid, I've got the high ground. Yeah, if you got that, really good. Um, as Izuku basically jumps down and kicking Ida, uh, not Ida, to not Todoroki either, staying in that face. This is when I, I, Todoroki and Mei show up. Mei starts shooting him, but with stuns, because she can't really kill him. As well as Ida, uh, fucking hell, Todoroki is shooting ice and fire at him, trying to get. <sighs> Stain to back up a bit while Izuku is getting St uh, Ida and Nada out of there by using the force. He stops the bleeding and both. As Ida says, Why are you doing this? This is my fight. As Izuku death glares and says, I'm going to deal with you later, Ida. Now, stay there and be good. As he goes back into the fight, Izuku basically gets ready and, well, just starts wailing on Stain as Mei and Todoroki stay back. Stain says, you are quite good, as Tur as Izuku says, don't as underestimate my power. Yes, another reference. Anyway, Izuku wins by basically cutting all Stain's blades when he throws them and tries cutting him. Stain is impressed with these blades of light, and he wants them. As Izuku just does a Jedi mind trick, says you will surrender and give up. As Stain just repeats saying, I will stop and I shall surrender and give up. As Stain just drops to his knees with his hand out ready for some cuffs, Zuku just uh, uses the force, grabs some rope and tie Ida, uh, Stain up. At the time, that's when Ida gets free as he starts running to Stain. Izuku grabs Stain, uh, Ida and slams Ida into the ground, saying, Don't be stupid, the fight is over. Let it go. Um, okay. So as that happens, Ida goes to the hospital. May is completely and utterly fine. Well, not really. Somewhat. She's got a few scrapes here and there. But not enough to draw blood. Todoroki got a little hurt. Same as May, but not enough to draw blood. As they're getting up Izu uh, Ida, this is when Izuku walks in. And basically, Ida starts getting up Izuku. Saying, why'd you come? You're not my friend. As basically... That's when Izuku beats the living daylight shit out of Ida, saying, 
You know, if you're not strong enough to face me, you're not strong enough to face Stain. And even I was stronger than Stain. So if you have no chance against me, you have no chance against him. Get help. Find help. Hell, if you need help getting help. Just ask. I'm not your friend, but I'm your classmate. If you die, everyone's house is gonna be fucking cares for you apparently. Gets real fucking shitty and depressed. This is why I have no emotional attachment to you. The only person I care about is my girlfriend and my friends. That's it. You, I don't give a shit about. But since you're in my class, I did it for a class. And that's it. Remember that. As he says, do you learn your lesson now? As it is just coughing, saying... Yes. As he's growling up in pain. Now, why do I sound like this? It's because it's 9.31 at night. And I'm tired. I have to watch up, but I catch up on a series of what ifs. Um. Anyway, this is when the dog comes in. Says as Izuku says, "Why, hello there." Yes, I put three references in. Can you guess what they are? Yeah, she's just let you know. But can you guess who says them? Because I know who. Anyway, um. So, basically, the dog goes on saying, he does what he says in canon. It's a bit. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna say a bit more violently and adds more detail into it. As Azuka just closes up the. Mutt's voice box saying look I know you're the chief on police for it and all but that's no way to tr talk to fucking teenagers and mind you that one was the idiot I literally came to save his ass not for fame or glory or even fucking money and yeah I don't really give a shit hell even with four licenses people were heroes this is stupid if you ask me. Licenses, earning money, fame. Ooh, you're famous. Ooh, whoop de doo, you got money. Ooh, I don't give a shit. It's all a waste of time. Anyway, um, they go back to school. Everyone's tripping up Ida. And everyone's surprised at Izuku for saving Yuta as he says, I don't feel any commo emotional attachment to him. And, well... Let's just say... It's better off that he... Is alive so all of you don't get shitty at me for not saving him. As that happens, May just comes running and... Gives him a hug, saying, it's fine, babe, just calm down. Because I'm going to say he was getting really fucking annoyed. So, yeah, that happens. Um, ah, hero names, right, I forgot about that. Uh, Izuku got his hero name as, well, Star Killer. Yeah, I'm just not imaginary to right now. And May chose... Um, actually, I don't know what she would choose. Let me know. Put a comment down below. And let me know, because I always love reading people's comments and talking to you guys. Although you have really good ideas. And if you've got co questions, also ask. And don't forget, I also have a Discord in my channel now. So, go check that. Come join that. So... Right, right, anyway. Um, yeah, so the next thing that's coming up is the... 
Students versus teachers. Guess who's fighting who? And Black Forest training camp. Now, I know the series wasn't very long, and I'm sorry. I'm not used to making long series yet, so just give me time. And mind you, I don't really know how to do uh, fillers. I'm still doing them. Maybe next episode will be a filler. Who knows? Hope you guys enjoyed, and love you guys. See you next time.